not get all carried away, that somehow the ability to do very sophisticated DNA analysis is going to give you the answers you want. If you're going to make those associations between genotypes and phenotypes, your phenotypes have to be absolutely beautifully collected, and that means lots of rigorous assessment by researchers, and of course, a lot of that costs money, and that's a serious issue. And we have to have much better tools for assessing the environment. Because you know what, folks? We're not going to fix your DNA. If we find out you have a risk for something, if your 23andMe report says something you didn't really want to know, it's there. It's not going to change. What we can figure out what to do, if we're smart enough, is how to alter your environment, maybe by diet, maybe by exercise, maybe by lifestyle, maybe by medical surveillance. And we need to draw those connections as quickly as possible so that we'll have an increasingly long list of circumstances where you not only can find out your risk, but you can do something that we know in well-validated studies is actually going to benefit you in the long run. That part cannot be jumped across. And that is the part which I think at the present time is sort of at risk of being undervalued because we're so excited about all this genetic stuff.